Psalm chapter 91 verses 9 and 10. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I know it can be very hard to feel God's love for you, when you are faced with multiple symptoms in your body, mounting debts from your medical bills, and worries about your future. We live in a world where we are governed by our five senses, and there are times when it is hard to believe, in the love of someone we can't see, touch, or hear. But we cannot depend on feelings, and outward circumstances, that can change, to be assured of God's love for us. It is so important we fix our eyes instead, on our Lord Jesus, whose love for us is perfect, never changes, and never fails. Instead of allowing the enemy to feed you with lies that cause you to be fearful, keep listening to messages that will keep you in the consciousness of God's love for you. Embrace his love to drive out every fear. Every time the enemy tries to attack you with fears, plug into a sermon that magnifies the Lord's goodness and love for you. Instead of giving in to the devices of the enemy, keep listening to sermons about Jesus' finished work. Instead of reading articles on the internet that tell you how serious your condition can become, or reading your medical report over and over again, read praise reports about the Lord's love and faithfulness. Read scriptures about His love and healing promises. Garrison yourself with the Word of God and keep yourself in His love. It's not enough to know verses about His love. Keep meditating on them until you believe He loves you. When we keep ourselves in the consciousness of God's love, we are abiding in God. In other words, we are making Him our dwelling place. That is so powerful because when the Lord is your dwelling place, you are in a place of safety and protection. It doesn't matter how many people have died from the disease you have been diagnosed with. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. And even if you are already in trouble, the Lord is with you, and He will deliver you. Thanks for watching. If you are blessed by this video, please don't forget to like and comment. Feel free to share with someone who needs God's grace right now. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. And watch other inspirational videos like this.